All right, so it's been a minute since I've made my last video. Um, in that period of time, there's been a lot of things happening, especially in the NFL. Um, got some breaking brown stuff. Free agency starts Wednesday. <sighs> so there's a lot going on. So, um, but first on the list here for videos, what is the most breaking big news? Obviously. It's Antonio Brown. He's out of Pittsburgh now. He was traded to the Raiders after the whole fiasco with the Bills. Um, so, yeah, we're going to talk about this. So, the Steelers trade Antonio Brown, their star receiver, to the Raiders. So, the Raiders are going to get A.B. Steelers trade a third-round pick. That's the 66th overall pick. And a fifth-rounder, that's the 141 pick. So, my initial reactions to this trade here, um, and I know this video is a little bit later, so it's kind of everybody's gotten their opinion out. I'm doing what I can here, people. Anyway, so the Raiders get A.B., and they don't have to give up much to get him. They trade a third-round pick and a fifth-round pick. Keep in mind, Gruden traded Amari Cooper to the Dallas Cowboys for their first rounder this year. Now, obviously, Amari Cooper is younger. Um, AB is a, not the youngest receiver. Um, however, he has proven many people argue that he is the best receiver in the league. I would tend to agree with that for the most part. Um, there's not much argument to go there. Um, against that opinion so yeah for the Raiders they're replacing um, Amari they kept on to their three first round picks which is amazing um, so yeah they didn't give up much and they got a lot but they did give up a lot because the uh, AB got his new contract it's not a cheap contract. It's a big time contract, um, and he's getting paid. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is going to make him the highest paid receiver in the league. So, I mean, congratulations to him. He somehow pulled that off. I, I don't know how he did it, but he did. And well, Gruden's bringing in guys. Um, they just brought in the tackle from Pittsburgh, um, Patriots rather, not Pittsburgh. Um, got him to a big contract. So they could find themselves in some trouble here with just handing out money on some of these contracts. So we'll see what they do um, as far as the Raiders. They're bringing in guys, getting ready, building a young young team um, with the draft, and they're getting ready to go into the new stadium in L.A. Um, so that's the plan with them, rebuild get excitement, sell tickets, L.A. Raiders. That's their plan. For the Steelers, it's a different story. It's about getting the cancers out of the locker room. They had issues. Um, and the heart of those issues was the killer bees in Pittsburgh. Ben, Bell, and Brown. Now, in my opinion, the biggest of those three, as far as the issues, the heart was Ben Roethlisberger. He's the big dog in town, and he's the one causing some of these issues, calling them boys, yada, yada. Um, but so Brown wanted out, um, and he made it clear he wanted to get paid. He wanted, he had all these demands. He didn't want to go to the Bills because everybody thought, oh, my gosh, well, you know what? The Steelers screwed over A.B. because he's going to the Bills. Well, guess what? A.B. got himself out of that situation. So if you like A.B., if you don't like A.B., more credit to him that he got himself out of that. Because I, who wants to play in Buffalo for the Bills? I mean, I wouldn't. So whatever. More power to him for that. Um, for the Steelers, they believe they have their number one guy as far as receiver and Juju Smith-Schuster. Um, so yeah, he's going to become their new number one guy. 
I think he's going to get a reality check here because he's going to quickly learn that it's not easy when you're double covered. Um, so we'll see. I don't think they're going to completely suck. I've heard that people are saying, oh, well, the Steelers are just going to go downhill. Well, guess what? They lost Le'Veon Bell. Last year, James Conner looked pretty good. Okay. So the run game's not going to hurt that much. Steelers fans, your run game's going to be fine, barring an injury. And they still have Samuels, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, you're fine at running. Um, receivers, I think, is a different a different situation here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they got somebody in the draft as far as receiver, but I do think they have a lot of defensive needs. So we'll see. Um, so, yeah. Um, as far as the winner of this trade, the winner of this trade was A.B. because he somehow managed to screw the Steelers and somehow managed to get what he wanted out of the Raiders, and that was that contract with his money. So he won this trade. Um, so we'll see how it works out with the Raiders. Hopefully Gruden doesn't blow this. I mean, if, when you got three first-round picks, especially in a defensive-heavy draft like this is, depending on where they're wanting to go, um, they definitely have what they need to get the job done here. So... We'll see how this works out with the Raiders for the Steelers. I do think they're going to have it down here. I don't think they're going to completely suck. I don't think they're going to be um, nearly as good as they were. So we'll see. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it here. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.